What's up guys, GT Gamer here and welcome back to OCRP and today we are going to be a... Ooh, what are we going to be? Um, Sheriff, why not? I have been Sheriff for a while, that's not true, I was totally Sheriff before, but you know, I like being Sheriff, it's my favourite department overall. I used to be in love with HP, but not so much anymore. Not a massive fan of 1014s, if you get what I'm saying. Um, I need to get to the station and go on duty, that's what I need to do. Yeah, this is not a civilian episode or a criminal before anyone asks. It is Elio, it's just now I have a house and a car which I own, I am going to drive to the station more often for my videos, so you can expect to see that, just to add some flavour to the mix. So we have to drive to the station, I'm going to park my car in the garage, and then I'm going to sign into the CAD and join the correct TeamSpeak channel, because currently I'm in the civilian channel. Uh, as soon as I go on duty, I am going to change that so we'll join the police radio. Uh, I don't need to fill it with gas. And the station is just down here. There are lots of civs on today, so we should get a fair bit of action, but there's not many cops. I'll just warn you that in advance. Uh, I need to be out of the vehicle and return vehicle. You do not own this vehicle. Uh, yes, I do. think you'll find I do. Um, now it's not letting me... Okay, what? And go in the sir. Oh, perhaps I have to run away and then go back. I don't know why it did that. That's weird. Return vehicle. You do not own this vehicle. Yes, I do. What? Why is it doing this to me? Okay, guys. I barely had time to set up. I've not signed into the CAD or anything yet, but it's okay. We don't have dispatch at the moment. And we've been called to back up uh, 468 which is Ben uh, there's another unit on way somewhere on Joshua so I have to look before crossing and I uh, know this guy was doing donuts and he might flee so it's a pretty urgent um, call um, oh there's the Tron bike uh, 252468 direct go ahead what's your 20? 10-9 what is your 20? 1020 airfield. 10-4. Um, I don't see lights. Ah, there. Right. Let's just see how this goes. And here's the other backup. He got his hazard lights on. Gotta love it. Up. I didn't do anything Don't wrong. Stop. Oh my god. Alright. Step out the vehicle, sir. Nope. Sir, step out the vehicle. I'm only gonna ask you this one one time. Tell me a legal reason that you're stopping me. You're on a restricted airfield. Yep. Okay. Which way did he go? Down there. Um, we're not going to do call-outs as much because there's no other units on, it's just us three at the moment. Actually, yes, there is. Uh, no, there's not. 252 is going to be secondary in that pursuit. 257 is going to be third. Uh, okay, I'm going through the ditch, apparently. <laughs> Off-roading. That's how you do it. God damn. <laughs> It's going to be West Bank, Dirt Road, near the airfield. Uh, continuing high rates of speed. This dude's determined. He's in a Phoenix, not the fastest car in the world, or the best handling, but it's still pretty good. 10 foot. Um, I'm struggling to keep eyes, i got to be honest. Uh, 20s. Oh, I see you. Route 68 approach. 10-4. Um, can you call it for the time being? I'm struggling to keep up. Yeah, we're on. Uh, uh, dear. Ah, uh, my vehicle's disabled. I hit a deer. God damn it. 10-4. Oh dear. Well, uh, continuing on Route 68, 
taking a right on to Sonora, Sonora Road. Let's see if a mechanic can come out. And as if by magic, the mechanic fixed it. We're Sonora Road. Taking on Sonora Road. Ten for on your vehicle. Taking a right on to a dirt road. Right onto a dirt road. That's not very helpful. Hopefully you can update the 20 by the time I get uh, there. Bay Tree Canyon Road. Is right. a dirt road. Grand Sonora Desert. Bay Tree Canyon. So if I go here... God, I hope this is right. I think this comes out on Bay Tree. I'm not 100% certain. There is a shortcut here. Um, uh, that's a rock. I need to really chill out with my driving. Oh. Bay Tree Canyon Road. Dirt Road. Off Sonora Way. I'm not sure what road this lets out at. Um, uh, um, I'm gonna go this way. Uh, I'm out of the chase. Ten four. Um, I'm on Bay Tree Canyon. I'll keep an eye out for him in the hills. He continued on Bay Tree Canyon to the top. Uh, I tried, tried to. He kept trying. I've got him. I've got him. He's on Mount Han Road, coming up to Bay Tree Canyon, taking a right, right back towards the county. It's going to be Bay Tree Canyon Road, northwest bound, coming up near the barns now, near the U-turn part, taking a dirt road. He's going to be coming down, still towards Bay Tree Canyon. Um, okay, dude. He's going to be coming out near the junction of Baytree Canyon and 68 on that dirt road. God, drifting. I'm trying to drive and do it again. 10 for I'll keep updating. Um, I'm not going to take the shortcut in case he doubles back while I'm doing it or something. I've made contact with his vehicle. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit right now. That would not break your car. That was the tiniest tap ever. It was desync that broke the car then. Coming up towards Sonora Road now. Going straight across towards the 24 7, parallel in 68. I'm going to go this way because concrete my car will be faster. Uh, East Bay in 68 towards the customs. Pri uh, priority Tyron. Siren. I can't English. Passing the customs now. Continuing East Bay 68 towards Yellow Jack. Uh, passing on right, I know I shouldn't, but I had to. My finger's nowhere near my brakes, that's why. Northbound Panorama, yeah, no. He used to go in Northbound Panorama. Come on, birdie, pull it over. Oh, that's reckless. Coming up on Joshua now. He's going straight across Panorama into Sandy. Taking a right, right, shoulder springs. Struggling to maintain visual due to fog. Going right, right onto, I believe this is Nyland. Uh, immediate left, left onto Algonquin, then right, right onto Marina. South Bay Marina towards Joshua, taking a going straight across onto Nowhere Road. I am bossing these twenties and driving. Now heading towards the alien murals in the desert, paralleling the train track towards uh, 13. This is a dead end. Uh, negative, I don't know. Be advised, this is a dead end. He's going, he's by the railroad tunnel. I'm just going to ram his car. <laughs> Why not? If he's doing the loop at the end, then I'll go. he goes one way, I'll go the other. I don't see why not.
Oh, come on, that's bullshit. It's bumper damage. Okay. My bad. <laughs> yeah, you don't say. Secondary, if you can call it. I'm still on the dirt road that parallels the railroad track heading back dude. towards the... Uh, I'm not talking killer. much, I'm trying to focus. My car is so damaged right now. Those tiny impacts would not have broke it. See, that's what you call driving, that is. <laughs> Come on, dude, where are you going? Going back towards Sandy. Making a right heading towards Joshua. Uh, where did he go? Lose eyes. 10-4. Alright, call the uh, pursuit now. Um. Oh, damn it, he went too fast over the hill. Ah, uh, okay. I need to get my car fixed. I also need to put a fucking ram bar on here. Okay, tow truck, you want, might want to uh, be careful where you're driving there. Right, I'm going to fix my car, get a tow truck and all that nonsense. He's going to spawn a car right on top of me if I stay there. And then we're going to go back 10-8. Be advised, I did make contact with that Phoenix, so it probably has damage. It won't last much longer, I doubt. 10-4, I hit him about three times trying to spit him out. And, uh... Yeah, his car is probably heavily damaged. Yeah, he went around the loop at the end of that dead end road, so he went one way, I went the other to cut him off. He tried a J-turn, so I just rammed him. I I got him, he's heading Joshua Road, uh, towards 13. I believe towards I what? see him. Towards 13, he's heading uh, near the berm now, by Marina. Ten for us. The vehicle heading eastbound Joshua Road, slow speed. He's pulling over. Oh, turned too much then. Uh, four six eight. Can I have you? Oh, this is the vehicle, right? Ten four. All right, felony stop. Making off again. 252's primary, active 1031. He really likes these dirt roads just because he knows he's, he can lose us. Try and hit. Oh my god. Go ahead, I'm out of fuel. God. Which way did he go? This way? Yeah. yeah. I see him. If you can keep eyes till I get fuel because my car's backfiring, I'll he catch bailed, up. He bailed. Ugh, this is frustrating. Come on, man. Come on, car. You can make it. That's two episodes in a row I've almost run out of fuel. Ugh, so slow. He, he would have got away then, probably. Here. Perfect. Engine off. Come uh, on. He's, uh... He's... I had, uh, I had a pistol whip him about four times. He tried... He struck... Yeah, uh, he struck me. Uh, location is 1037 Sonora Desert. 10 four. I'll be on route in 10 seconds. Come on, fuel. Do you need a 1070? Negative. Uh, uh, he needs a 1071. 10 for confirmed shots fired on him. Come on, come on, engine. This is not the time. We're just beside the railroad tracks. So. Um, I believe he's. I believe he's knocked out at this point. Uh, where is he? Uh, oh, I see him. All right, keep on him nice for shots. I right, move in. He's uh, he's knocked out. Ten four.
Did he have a weapon? No, uh, he, he he was running behind uh, the direction behind me, and then he turned around. I drew my weapon on him, and he punched me in the face once or twice. And uh, then I uh, proceeded to pistol whip him four times, I believe it was, <laughs> three to four times, and knocked him out. Okay, I'm going to go to the siren off if you can look after him. Yeah, I uh, call a, uh, that's a 71 if you don't mind. 10-4. And a 70 for his car. Two five two. If we can have a ten seventy, ten seventy one two one zero three seven for a down subject and vehicle. God, this siren's annoying. And yeah, I know there's no dispatch. I'm just RPing it. Oh yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I doubt I control the siren from this side. This car is absolutely annihilated. Here's a bar. Uh Blood alcohol point nine point nine three. Ten four. The fuck? There's a ghost in your car. Oh, come on, up the hill. You can do it. Don't need the gun out anymore. Handful of times before you before you fell out. Yeah. Assuming um oh. assuming he's okay, he's gonna be charged with quite a bit, I think it's fair to say. Yeah, I think he's just got a probably concussion. Um, he's got some facial injuries from the weapon. Looks like you're missing a few teeth, sir. Huh. Oh, it's gone already. Oh, oh, okay. Well, you're bleeding from the mouth. I guess I just got you good. Why'd you strike me, man? You should have just pulled over, to, and we could have handled this like, you know, gentlemen, instead of, you he's, know, running around all day. leave me the hell alone. I got your ID right here. What, what's it say? Perry Dick. I've dealt with him before. Harry Dick. Pretty sure. Right, uh, miss. I got him for yeah, DUI yeah, Barry or something. Like the fruit. Oh, dick Barry. Like a, I thought you said. Like a dick dick. I thought you said Harry Dick. Okay. <laughs> Barry oh. like the fruit uh, a dick like a I dick. Some kind of oh, that's the quote of, of the day there. <laughs> you never know. All right, so you're gonna be charged at this time. Um, after you get out of the hospital, we're gonna somebody's gonna meet you down there. Um. And you're going to be arrested, okay? Uh, your charges right now are going to be fleeing and eluding, aggravated fleeing and eluding, uh, DUI, um, battery on a LEO. Uh, I'm pretty I sure that'll Yeah, do. that should be sufficient. Good thing you don't have a gun. Right, let's search uh, Phoenix. I believe that's how you spell it. I should know this. My best friend's nickname is Phoenix. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, what do I find? I'm not going to do slash me. In fact, I'm not going to do slash at all because that won't work. Um, oh, my internet's being a piece of shit again, as always. What do I find? What do I find in the Phoenix? Why are you doing this, internet? Resource time warning, their damage, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to meet him at the hospital. Time for. You might want to get a uh, new car. Yeah, I will. County Toe takes the car away. Right, I'm going to go back to the station now to assist with the booking since I was like secondary and he ran from me the second time, so that's what I'm going to do. Um, as for the car breaking down, that was bullshit, that's why I kept fixing it, because a tiny impact on your bumper like that would not write off your car. It just wouldn't. That's an interesting truck. With some interesting driving. But yeah, I fail to believe that that would write your truck off. Y your truck, your car, that little tiny smash. I found that out in real life, trust me. That tiny impact would not write off your car. I'm going to do some precise parking here. Boom, millimeter gap. I seem to remember two cops wrecking their cars, man. Like one of them into a tree and one of them into a barn. Were they okay? A barn? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I haven't heard about any injuries. Uh, I don't even recall hearing about that. I think it was probably me, but desync, so... 
Um, just, you know, 468 if you want to add it to the oh. notes that I find empty beer cans in his vehicle. Just I casually was change drunk, it. So that, maybe yeah. I was just seeing things. Yeah, it could well be. charge right there, sir. What are you uh, charging me with DUI twice or something? No, open container. Oh. I don't get that. Even if they're empty, well, they're open? I, I do get it, yes, sir. But... Alright, hang on one oh. second. If, Zach, uh, we don't have that in the UK. Answer, I gotta go into the uh, computer over here. But yeah, we don't have that in the UK. You can have an empty beer can in your car. Um, just, you'll probably get breath tested for it. As far as I know, sir, what you're being charged with is assault on an LEO, or battery on an LEO, um, DUI, felony evasion, and open containers. If any of those are not right, or we add any, we will inform you. And um, have you had your rights read to you? I don't remember. Okay, just to refresh your memory. That's since I got out of the hospital. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you ca say can and will be used against you in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you by the state. Do you understand the rights? I've read them to you. I stumbled off yeah, my words a bit there. I know what those mean. Awesome. Man, did this guy get blown up or something? Uh, what? Well, he's got no hair. Like he was in a fire. It's called a receding hairline. It's pretty common. Mine receded from the sides Eyebrows up. Eyebrows and everything? <laughs> Perhaps he likes, um, he took his inspiration from an egg. Who am I to qu ask questions? Huh. It's an interesting look, that's for sure. Yep. Saw some interesting look having like five bandanas on your arm. Or bracelets, sorry. And three necklaces. Oh yeah. Well they all mean something. You know, they're all to keep me safe and happy. Hence I didn't die when I wrecked my car. You almost did. And Jesus brought me back when that guy hit me in the head with a handgun. If that's what you wanted to believe. <laughs> Ugh, Although I think people. he was angry because I was drunk. I wouldn't surprise him because if you're drink driving that means you're putting everyone on the road's life in danger so it's kind of a fair thing to be angry at don't you think? Maybe. I don't think I hit anyone else though. Just a bush. Fair enough. You lost us the first time. What made you and want to uh, come back? Oh, I was going home. I didn't know where you guys were. Well, driving back past the scene where we where you lost us is not the smartest idea. Well, I didn't know where I lost you guys at. I was just driving and I looked back and you're gone. So I'm like, well, I'll go home. Yeah, the smart thing to do would be to lie low. Not like I'm giving you suggestions for the future. <laughs> Alright, I got all yeah, the charges I was, I was going to, yeah. but I can't lie low well, without being home. Hold on, one more thing I gotta do. Hang on, guys. Alright, this is... This is bad. Alright, here we go. <laughs> oh, I love the way it comes with you a have warning. A DUI with accident. Alright, DUI with accident. That's a misdemeanor, first degree, twenty thousand dollar fine. Oof. Uh, two years jail time. <laughs> aggravated battery and of law or enforcement or. officer. And uh, we'll get to that. Uh, aggravated battery of law enforcement officer. Felony two. Hundred thousand dollar fine. Oh, or... This is actually fun to watch. Might as well just pack Ten my years. ass up and ship me. <laughs> I enjoy watching these. Careless driving, two thousand dollars. Oh, he's gonna have some fun in jail. Fleeing and evading via a vehicle. That's a third degree felony. Uh, that carries fifty thousand and five years. 
He's going to so be playing a lot of butt hole bingo in prison. Plus the 2,000, 172,000 in fines <laughs> and the maximum time, uh, 10 years in prison. Would you like to split that up is and it, just do the time or? Is that and or? So if I do the time, I don't have to pay the fines? Uh, Zach, can you uh, inform me of what, I believe it's uh, you pay or you or you do the time. Well, I hope oh, not, because I've well, charged both in the past. <laughs> well, in oh. the CAD, I, I put the charge in there, but it doesn't come directly out of his account. When I uh, gathered from the meeting last week, it was a, you start up the time, you pay the fine, or you do a mixture of both. Did you just hear a shot fired? Yeah, so, yeah, I thought it was a, a gunshot. Uh... Um, no. I think so. Like the big ones, right? It's like jail or a fine, what right? The That's the way it's written. That? I think, if I remember right, right. that was a gunshot. I'm pretty sure it was that red truck. Cause he fled out of here as soon as that happened. I don't see any gunshot wounds or gunshot holes or anything. Um. Okay. Yeah, that means I gotta turn in all my guns, right? No, luckily, uh, you don't I keep have. Keep hearing shots fired. Oh. Um, as oh, far okay. as I'm concerned, as far as I've heard, you don't have to. So, if you if you um. Okay. On you, that'll be a you will be charged with a uh extra crime which is a uh, crime with a uh, you know a felon with a weapon like if, you, if you're seen with the weapon and commit a crime it's an extra charge um, but you could verify okay go have you ahead, got Zach? this um, 468 because yeah, I'm going to go it. patrol because I keep hearing shots fired alright go ahead alright so I'm just going to give you the $2,000 fine like real quick go ahead do we have county dispatch available? Negative. Right, I'm just patrolling the area for shots. I'm going to turn my radar on just in case. Well, just in case. <laughs> no need to add something to the end of that sentence. Um, but yeah, I swear I could hear shots fired. I do have a sound pack, so it's possible the wrong sound played when that truck hit the fence or whatever happened, but... I don't know, it's better to be safe than to be sorry. In my eyes, just check over the boom, make sure nothing's happening. Um, not that I can see. You were going a bit fast, weren't you, then, buddy? Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a drive down Algonquin, and if I don't hear anything again, I'm just gonna call it quits there and go back out on patrol. There's that truck. That's it. That's the one I think was associated with the f shots fired. Hmm. I know. I'm convinced it was him, but ugh, there's no way of actually proving it. And I don't want to just pull him over for no reason. And I don't want to stalk him either. So I'm going to go back through Sandy, see if I hear it again. If I do, when he's in the area, I'm going to count that as reasonable cause to believe he could be involved and potentially pull him over. Not, um, more of just a general talk to him, not as a, um, he is the suspect kind of thing. I'm going to go down Zancudo Ave. Yep, there it was, I just heard it again. And then he's flying up there. I just saw him. Where is he? He just went up. There he is. Forty-seven. Well, I've clocked him speed in for a start. Come on, dude. Pull it over.
Sam 252, I'm going to have a 1050 Marina Drive at 1017, uh, potentially involved with a shots fired call, also speeding. If I can have an additional. 468's in route. Good evening, sir. I'm Deputy Purton with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Do you know why I pulled you over today? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'd like to know why you have your gun out. Uh, that is actually a second thing I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any association with any shots fired in the area? Have you fired a, a weapon? What's your uh, postal? No, but I heard some. I've been driving around Sandy trying to figure out what's going on. 1017. Yeah, because the first one I heard, and I'll admit I wasn't 100% sure if I heard it, that's why I didn't react, but your truck was outside the sheriff's station, and as soon as it happened, and it was very right. close, you drove off, and then I heard it again when oh, you were... I'm not going to shoot a gun off outside the sheriff's department, that's stupid. Why would You'd be surprised how stupid some people are. And then I heard it again when your truck was in the area, and now I've heard it the third time, and I've just after I heard it, in your direction, I saw your truck going up Marina quite fast. I clocked you doing 50 and he, I believe Marina's a 35. I'll have to verify that though. Marina, wh well, where were you? Because I was stopped at the gas station. You can't go from 0 to 50 and from stopping this thing. We're on Marina now. I was on Nyland. Okay. Well, I mean, I might have gone, I might have gone 50. I thought the speed limit was 50. But... I'm going to have to double check the speed limit with my other deputy, but I believe yeah, no, the speed I mean, limit is 35. Right. I just said, yeah, I mean, I assumed it was 50, but you could be in touch. Alright, give me a second, sir, to talk to But no, deputy. I've been hearing it. I've been driving around. Okay. Oh. What the? Hey, you just shot up in the air for me. Oh, not in my eyes. Um. Is it the cop that's shooting off the rounds or what? No. Yeah, I, I heard shots, and I heard two of them when this truck was in Sandy, once when he was outside the police station, and then I left Sandy, and when I came back I heard it again, and I saw this vehicle flying up Marina, so I went up Nyland to parallel him, and I clocked him doing 50. Do you know what the speed limit is in Marina? Um, I've been told uh, 25... And I've been told 35, but I think 35... Was yeah, I thought rough. it was 35 as well. But yeah, I've asked him about the shots fired. He claims he doesn't... He's not as involved with it, but he heard it. Alright, um... Does he have a weapon on him? I uh, know, I haven't got that far yet. Alright. Yeah, we could, uh... Um, pull him out. Just for investigation. If he has a weapon, take it off him, see if there's any rounds missing from the magazine, see if it's hot, and uh, you could test it for uh, recent gunfire. Yeah, I'll also have to get his name and run his plate. I haven't done that yet. Oh, freeze. Right. That's just my internet being shit. <laughs> okay, so what's your um, name? Can I have your license, registration, proof, insurance? Yep, let me just hand that over to you. It's going to be James McIntosh. Amazing. Okay, Mr. McIntosh. The ID. Thank you. Um, can you do me a favor and just step out of the vehicle and come back to my cruiser for me? You're not in trouble, yeah, I just want to ask you some okay. questions. Hi, man. Hey, uh, do you have a weapon on you? Any weapons? I'm going to run his name. Are you? Yes, I have a pistol. Alright. Can I uh, take that off of you real quick? James yeah, McIntosh. Alright. In the uh, back box. McIntosh. Uh, the back of my body. Lights, lights, registration. Uh, right. uh, weapons permits obtained. Now, back to you. Yeah, um, no problem. You know, you seem like an honest guy, but I'm going to make sure no rounds are missing from the magazine. I'm going to make sure it What's doesn't seem plate? to have been fired recently. Um, yeah, I mean, there's going to be some rounds missing. Anymore. There's oh, gonna be there some is. rounds missing. I was down at yeah, I was at the gun range. Uh, Six four EME, I believe that is. It's kind All of right. hard to make um, out. Is there gonna is is the barrel gonna be yeah. hot? I mean, the rounds were just shot off recently. I mean. Yeah, no, it's not. It's Six four. Well, I can't I'm make out what it says. Yeah, no problem. ENB. 
Haha. -ha. 170. James Wentosh valid. Yep, he's all clear. Alright, uh, there are rounds missing, but it doesn't appear to have been fired recently. Okay. Um, he comes back clear, his plate's oh, clear and everything. A few um, minor citations, but other than that, nothing. Alright, right, Mr. McIntosh, I appreciate your um, cooperation with the investigation. As for the speed, um, I'm just going to give you a verbal warning and tell you not to do that again. The speed limit is 35, I can understand the confusion. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't. I just. Yeah, like I said, I assumed it was 50, that was my fault. Oh, crap. Uh, Nick. Uh, yeah. 252, you mind handing on that, uh, weapon? I'm gonna move out the way. Uh, pistol. Yeah, if I see anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. Like, I've been driving okay. around trying to figure out where he's coming from. Okay, so here's your, right, um, pistol I, uh, back. Uh, left the magazine out. Here's the <clears> magazines. <throat> okay. Um, Thank appreciate you. your cooperation. Um, yeah, no problem. Yeah, it helps us out a lot. And just remember yeah, to like stick I said, to. If I see anything, I'll definitely let you guys know. Yeah, just remember to stick to 35 in city streets. Yeah, I will. Alright, have a nice day, Mr. McIntosh. Alright, pretty good, man. Alright, thanks, guys. 252 and 468 is going to be 10 8. Okay, well, that was. Um, that was interesting. He claims not to have fired the gun. Recently, yeah, at least. God, your mic's loud. Um, <laughs> and the evidence appears to prove that. That's definitely a sieve in that truck. I know for a fact it is, because I've seen it way too much. Right, I'm going to go back down um, Panorama to my favourite spot ever, and run some radar. Oh, screw it, I'm going. I cannot be asked to <laughs> wait for nonsense AI. Don't know what just happened then, my controller just randomly decided to dive left. Okay, whatever. Ugh, why are you lagging so much, game? Something's broken with my internet, I need to contact my ISP. I don't know what it is, I think one of the cables might be broken or something. That goes to my socket. Okay. Okay. Um. 70 miles an hour. I didn't even get a chance to stop. Are you gonna stop, dude? Another traffic stop. Two foot. 252, I'm going to be on another 1050 at 949 uh, Route 68 on a black uh, Buffalo S. Can you guess why I pulled you over, sir? <laughs> uh, I'm going to probably say speeding. Bingo. Can I have your license, registration, proof of insurance? I clocked you at 70 in a 50. 70? Nah, that maybe is doing 60. No, it was definitely 70. Alright, uh, here you go. Jack Johnson. Okay, Mr. Johnson, just bear with me one moment. Jack Johnson. No problem. <laughs> I can't let 20 miles an hour over go. He's getting a ticket. Jack Johnson. What do we come back with? He has a weapons permit. Jack Johnson. Uh, there he is. Yeah, that's fine. Combat pistol. Uh, another tricky to see one. I actually can't see at all what that says. Uh, just back my car up a little. 45 EYM 773. 45 E. Oop, that's T. EYM 773. Jack Johnson. That is absolutely fine. Oop, no, I need to write him a ticket. <laughs> right. Really? And the, How fast was he going? Uh, that's not that bad. Right, I'm going to quickly write him a ticket. 
uh, citation. Okay, Mr. Johnson, the way I'm going to be dealing with this, I'm going to issue you a citation for speeding between 10 and 19 miles per hour over the limit. That's going to be section 316.183, and it's going to come with a $2,000 citation. So if you can just sign up the, the dotted line at the bottom, here you go. It's not a mission of guilt, it just says you've received the ticket and you'll take care of it within the allotted time. Alright, right, it's no problem. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Johnson. You have a lovely day now and don't forget to take care of the ticket. I'm sorry, what was that? I said you're free to go now, have a lovely day and make sure you take care of the ticket. That's a nice truck there on the left. Right, I need to go to the bank. Um, God, I love the way I keep jumping around. It's like getting into the mind of a schizophrenic, just every sentence is different from the one before it. Uh, I want to deposit, not 260,000, I want to deposit 15,000. Bang. Perfect. And then, I want to go... Is that that buff? Yep, that's the car I literally just ticketed. Now I want to go back up to the station because I'm going to call it a day right now. It, um, it's been fun. It's only a short episode today. I didn't fancy doing one too long. Plus, my internet is so bad. I don't know why. Something's broken with the connection to my house. And I am popcorning for people and people are popcorning for me. So, yeah, not good. So I am going to have to call it a day here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode. And I will see you then. Peace out, guys.